Hi, good evening, or have a good day to everyone. And uh, uh, I would like to welcome you here to uh, uh, to this forum platform of the Flow Designer. And um, I will plan uh, every week to talk about the weekly portion, the special character. So this is a series that's going to be, uh, it is called SPEC the special characters, a uh, few minutes that we are going to spend every week about uh, to remind um, about the uh, weekly portions energy so that uh, when you're going to hear the, uh, the reading of the Torah that's probably is going to uh, emphasize all that we uh, talk, uh, we're talking about so it's only a few minutes okay then you can uh, listen uh, and uh, you can listen here so um yeah uh, so generally when we are talking like in the torah in the parchment itself we would find like three sides the characters that's coming okay one is the a normal uh, size one is the small and that is half size of the normal and the big letters that are double okay uh, so uh, when we are going to uh, uh, we're going to cover every week by week the, the five books of Moses and the first book is called uh, Bereshit okay and that is um, according uh, the first book of Moses that is called Bereshit it's corresponding for the uh, Sephira that is called Keter okay so what does it mean Keter? Keter is the highest the highest of the ten Sephirot where everything is created, but we don't see yet what it is. So you have to plan your whole year, okay, when we're going to conclude from this very beginning uh, till, uh, till the, uh, the fifth book and the last reading of the Torah. So we plan our whole mm, destiny, so whole uh, life path for that specific year, okay, this is what it means. So meanwhile, we don't see what is going to be but we do have plans right so it's better that you prepare uh, and uh, uh, and you put your effort in it and then at the end you might make a, a recall recalling how it is succeeded okay so um uh, probably this time like the kettle what does it mean that we don't see in the reality everything so everything is hidden okay later on during the year we will see what is going to open up all these situations possibilities uh, things that are going to come by us when we are pushing uh, to make some efforts and the, and especially when we are going outside of our comfort zone okay so this is the period of uh, planning and forming okay all our desires and the wishes uh, could be in this um, in this uh, field uh, then we do and uh, do our best in order to receive it so what would be uh, the good for you that if you could recall these moments after um, after when we are completing the whole uh, five books okay what if we could manage to receive our goals and what was the um, what is coming by what why if we did manage to arrive to our goals or not okay so when we are going to cover every book okay so it is the Keter is the first book of Moses the second is Chokhmah it is about um, uh, a certain uh, wisdom and also Bina the next one and then the Zeiram Pin it's uh, in the middle and the fifth book is Malchut Malchut is the reality okay where everything is manifesting right so right now we are in the field of the Keter Keter it's a hidden energy um and when we are getting to the malhut in the the book of dvarim this is going to be the point when we are forming into reality all our things okay so all the program that we start running to, uh, uh, today uh, and when during the reading of the torah you you have to put your emphasis emphasis your thought around this what way i'm going to start this year so the better that we are aware what is happening, what is going on, that we could have the effect on it later on. So what we have here in the Bereshit, in the, in the first 
book and the first chapter of the Torah is we have basically a, a bigger bet, a right? double size bet. So that Bereshit bara, uh, uh, Bereshit bara, so this is how it's starting uh, the whole Torah and uh, uh, the five books of Moses. It is, it is a lot, a lot of people are dealing. It's a very mystical thing that the creation and all that it takes place. Uh, so Bereshit bara Elohim et Hashemayim et Aretz. So God created uh, the, the heaven and earth. If one of the secrets, I, you might know this one. So Bereshit, um, uh, if he took the three first, uh, if you have Bereshit bara Elohim, this is the first three uh, words. And if you are taking the ultimate letters uh, uh, of each, then we have uh, the word emet, emet, it's the uh, truth, okay? So this is the sealing of God. So God was hidden in this, uh, in this uh, sentence that his signature, okay? And that in the first sentence of the Bible, first sentence of the Torah. So Taf, Aleph and Mem, Emet, this is the truth. Um, and uh, the question is that it's raised in the Talmud itself. So why, why it's starting with the letter bet and not Aleph? Okay, Aleph is the first letter. Okay, then it should start with the first letter. Okay, you would you would be uh, telling. Okay, uh, Aleph it's aluf. It's uh, meaning a, a a boss, a leader. Okay, uh, so who wouldn't be the leader? Everyone wants to be a leader. Okay, uh, is it a good choice to start, right? Uh, some some people would uh, uh, pick uh, this way. Mm, so, uh, and especially that it's starting with the bed and the larger bed. So there is a big idea that uh, I'm going to explain in uh, you in few seconds. So where is the emphasis? What we need to know, okay? So it is a very special word, Bereshit, because uh, the the root of the root of this word it is rosh rosh meaning uh, meaning uh, head okay and then uh, at the first uh, um, um, consonant we have a nikud it's a shva that's why we hear it as it looks like as a separated verse bereshit bereshit we just slow down okay so it uh, it here it could be hearing that it's two words but it's like one so it's a little bit slowing down to 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 understand what is going on uh, and um, uh, the bet so every letter in the hebrew alphabet is also a number as well so it's having a numerical a numerical value so uh, the bet is uh, the value is two so what is the what is the main idea here? Uh, when we have after a few sentences after in the Torah, it is written Zahar unekeva barautam. Okay, so it could be uh, created there are a man and woman. Okay, so this is basically uh, the uh, there's a, some purpose of uh, of the creation is the duality. Okay, we have two type of energies that. Uh, we have the uh, female aspect and the male aspect okay so uh, we are like they are like individuals female and male and also in ourselves we need to balance this kind of energy so when we are succeeding in life we are probably balanced in both in the female and the male energy form uh, you know, I don't know if you know, but according to Rashi, the commentator, what it says that in the first man that was created, it uh, had a duality. So it was a hermaphrodite person that uh, he had uh, the female and the male in a back-to-back -back position. Okay, back-to-back -back position meaning that it's something hidden. Okay. When we are in the face-to-face -face position, we can do see each other. When we are in the back-to-back, -back, it's something in a hidden way. So the first uh, uh, first uh, man that was created, it was a hermaphrodita one. Uh, but today we do understand they are like separate uh, uh, female and uh, male uh, individuals that we are talking about. 
and when did it happen in the sixth day of creation okay so um, Mm, the humans are the highest in the consciousness accord, uh, above all things that was created okay so meaning that uh, god created everything in before and placed the humans in it in order that they should enjoy okay the the, uh, the pleasures what we have already and uh, use it but not abuse what we are having surroundings around us okay uh, so Mm, mm, yeah so when we are having uh, like a stone and the plant and the plant, uh, animal kingdom and the, the human kingdom right uh, that we are going to uh, uh, more uh, conscious thinking okay so uh, the stone basically cannot decide anything by themselves but us we can do um, and uh, also we, we we do communicate like even like animals are not able to communicate that way okay they can say uh, might few things okay but not as we do like we have thought we can we can pronounce things we can read okay this is something amazing that other other uh, uh, creatures cannot do okay so this is what it's meaning that we are having the highest uh, consciousness among all so therefore we have more duty to do okay uh, humans are uh, uh, con connecting between could be connecting between spiritual and uh, uh, and physical okay most of the other uh, that um, any kingdoms that preceded it could be doing only the physical thing okay uh, so and and if we are going according to the creation okay so first was created adam the, the man and then it was created the woman okay so if you are also that it's something the truth that the woman having more instincts uh, to uh, do as uh, regularly like an average average uh, talking that we are saying uh, and therefore it can making more uh, complex thinking and uh, more complex uh, uh, consciousness than uh, the average man can do uh, and also women weren't participating in the golden calf right so therefore it was many things was granted for women right so women like uh, it uh, is more cautious uh, more more uh, uh, more um, gentle uh, way of thinking than than men that men generally it's more uh, talking about uh, many ideas are talking about they are more logical they having more logical mind and uh, the uh, women it's uh, uh, it's less more creative mind so, but Adam, the first man, was a, such a perfect uh, cre uh, creature, okay? So he had balanced his female and male uh, uh, aspect. So it is very important to understand the harmony, right? Harmony, because everything, all the flow is going to harmony. And, and so it is also in the months of Tishrei, uh, that in the Hebrew calendar that we are, in the, um, that... Uh, uh, to be balanced okay that uh, to have the good deeds the bad deeds so especially it is very important to be uh, aware of uh, so when we are thinking about the uh, the male uh, energy it is uh, it is a giving kind of energy and the female energy is the receiver type of energy okay so we both have to practice and it's, it's good that it's, it's working uh, uh the same uh, uh, same uh, side in a harmonical way okay so no one would be preferred to be a boss of each other but in a harmonical component of each other okay so um yeah it is very important to pay attention that we both give and receive okay and also what we learned from the Bereshit that uh, that uh, humans were created as a copy as the image of God that in the Hebrew phrase we call Tselem Elohim okay so this is the purpose in life okay that uh, we have uh, we have uh, 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 we are making decision we are making proactive decisions uh, then it uh, we are uh, changing uh, 
we could be changing many things okay so um Uh, so it is important to look uh, around here in this uh, part of the year about uh, understanding uh, like who we are okay we need to push to our effort uh, uh, and um, mm, as a copy of God we have to uh, 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 pretend as, as mostly as a giver and also but a receiver so this is something very important to know by this uh, week's portion of that is called Bereshit uh, and um, uh, we will see each other next week okay i hope you like this short uh, video about the parasha and uh, next week i'm going to continue with uh, the parasha of noah uh, thank you for your attention